All right, change of pace. Qantas has rewarded outgoing boss Alan Joyce with $10 million in bonus shares for guiding the airline through its post-COVID pandemic recovery. Now, this takes his overall bonus to an eye-watering $24 million. To discuss this and plenty more, I am joined by Bondi Partners Senior Advisor Peter McGoran, as we always do this time. $24 million. It's, it's almost hard to say it's that much. It is. It is. Much of it is a deferred bonus mm. from the COVID years, but unfortunately it's the worst possible exit for Alan Joyce. He's going out under a cloud. The ACCC has commenced federal court action against Qantas for selling ghost flights and are looking for a couple hundred million dollar penalty, so I'm afraid his legacy will be tarnished. Yeah. So he can enjoy the cash, Tim, but he can't enjoy a good reputation. Yeah, how does, how does history remember him? Look... He does have his supporters who believe he did steer... Shareholders. Yeah, investors, exactly. If you're an investor in Qantas, uh, you love Alan Joyce. If you're, if you're a, a customer, you don't. Mm, absolutely. Well, still on aviation, Qatar being denied extra flights to Australia. This is a big story. Oh, what a shocker. What a shocker. Um, it's not as if Qantas is the national airline, Tim, which... Uh, taxpayers have a vested interest in. It is a private sector airline. Now, what Alan Joyce has always argued to Canberra for decades now, Qantas as a whole, is that the Middle Eastern airlines are subsidised by their countries, Etihad, Emirates and Qatar. And they're right, that's true. But nonetheless, that is the market. All airlines throughout the world have to deal with Middle Eastern airlines and they provide competition, more seats, lower prices. You can't ban Qatar, especially... And they're if... actually good. I'm Anecdotally, sh... people sit on those planes. Yep. I've, I've been on Qatar. I've been on all of them. They're, they're good. Yep, they're very good. They provide a better economy class experience, I think, than Qantas. So the government can't explain why they blocked the Qatar application for more flights, but we all know it is to protect Qantas. And why are we protecting Qantas? That's the big question because it's not as if it's a national airline. Yeah, we need to protect the consumer, give them more opportunities, give them more... Yeah, whose side are you on? Yeah. You're on Qantas shareholders' side, uh, all due respect in regards to Qantas shareholders, or are you on customers' side? 